Hello Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. Um, I hope you're all doing well wherever you are on the planet. Um, this reading, Taurus, is going to look at your energies between the 30th of November to the 6th of December um, or thereabouts. Universal timing is fluid. Um, so it's very different to uh, the Earth um, Earth timing that, that we have um, sort of created really in many ways around around nature. Um, so I've done a pre-shuffle of, of the cards to get your energy into them Taurus so let me just do um, a final shuffle now. So we have the Oracle of Visions here so I'll just we'll start the reading with just a, a couple of um, Oracle cards to get some um, starter energies and see what they have to say. Um, Okay, so we have the number 29 here, um, and this is about temptation, um, resisting, having willpower. So um, it's, for some of you, um, Taurus, this is about having an obsession about something, um, a preoccupation about something that um, uh, is very much on your mind. Um, and for some of you, it, it's perhaps a bit of a toxic energy, it could be to do with addictions, for example. But um, let's see where we're going with this. So, um, and the other card we have, um, this is about a new beginning, but the need to release something from the past um, before being able to move on to a new beginning. So, um, okay, let's see. So a final shuffle of the Tarot of Dreams. Goodness, there's lots jumping out. There's too many there. So um, just a final shuffle here. So we have um, your current energy or a situation, um, what, what you're thinking about, um, hidden influences there, past influences, and uh, the future going forward, um, and then a final message from the universe. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the magician energy. Um, the magician, um, as you can see, he's harnessing the universal light and shining it on all the energies of the minor arcana. Um, and he does, he does this to, um, it's a very focused energy, very much in control, and he's now manifesting a reality for himself going forward. All right, so that's the magician energy. So let's see where, where that's going. Um, final shuffle with the Lightseer's Tarot for you. Lay them down in the same order and position. And at the bottom of this deck we have the Empress. Um, and this is an energy of, it's a very feminine energy, a nurturing energy, guided by the moon up here. Um, but you can see um, her swollen tummy because metaphorically the Empress is, all, is very fertile and she's always pregnant. But in this particular picture you can see it's the, um, it's the Earth here. Uh, uh, her tummy is in the shape and the picture of the earth. So this is about nurturing of the earth, uh, nature, earth energies. All right, so this could be referring to yourself, Taurus, or an energy around you um, that, that is very important to you. And at the heart of your reading, we have the Three of Coins and the Knight of Wands. Um, the Three of Coins is when, uh, this is about being focused, working hard to create something new and quite special. Um, now, this may be just yourself or you may be working with others um, to pool your skills, if you like. Um, but you're very, very focused. This is hard work uh, and focus and, and skill, working to create something new. Though This is right at the heart of your reading for some of you, Taurus. Um, and then the Knight of Wands and the Knights of Wands, the Knights are about action and the Wands are about movement and change. Sometimes for some of you the Knight of Wands is about moving house and so that's just, um, you know, one of the uh, meanings um, to do with the Knight of Wands in Tarot. Um, but um, apart from that, this is something about um, fire, energy, creativity, passion. And you can see the young woman banging the drum so much that 
um, she is setting it on fire and the horse is dancing to her tune really so I think that's part of the energy of this card um, this is going to be something that you do that's quite unique so others are going to metaphorically dance to your tune rather than you have to adopt um, others, other people's tunes if you like but lots of energy and creativity and passion here in this creation Now, what are you thinking about at the moment? Well, we have conflict here. So this is what you're thinking about. Something about um, feeling conflicted. Now, this may be about inner conflict. This could be about inner conflict. Um, you've got lots of voices going on inside of your head, uh, arguing with each other about something. And it could be about um, this, uh, this creative endeavour. It could be a work situation, a hobby, something new you're creating. So uh, this um, inner conflict could be about that. If it's not inner conflict, then this is about conflict with others around you. Um, the Two of Swords, now this is when there's difficult decision to be made, but we don't want to face it. It's too too difficult. Um, you see the lady's got a, a, a blindfold on her. She could take it off if she wanted to, to see um, what her options are and, and to make the, a decision. But... She's choosing to leave the blindfold on because she doesn't really want to face it or look at it or, or make that decision. So it's a bit of a delay in whatever this is about. Um, and it's something to do with either an inner conflict um, within yourself, Taurus, is that you're thinking about. Um, you know, and, and because of a need to perhaps make a decision in some area. Um, Oh, there's an external conflict going on, arguments and disagreements um, that are causing you to um, not want to face something, not want to look at something. Okay. It'll be something a little bit different for all of you, Taurus. Now, the, um, the hidden influences here, we've got the Three of Wands and the Page of Cups. And the Three of Wands is when um, there's a lot of hard work being put into something, making plans. Um, developing something and then um, it's a time of waiting so waiting for your ship to come in that sort of a, an energy waiting for something to materialize after um, putting a lot of hard work into something um, so this is a hidden influence for you and the clarifier is the page of cups um, and this is this this is about I mean pages are generally messenger messengers of the minor arcana, um, and the cups are about uh, what's meaningful for your heart, what makes your heart sing, whether it's love and relationships or whether it's something you're doing that um, is very meaningful for you to you, and to your heart. So um, so there's something that's very meaningful to your heart that's making your heart sing, and I think. It's more of, of that energy than, um, than, a, than a message, if you like. But it's something new, um, because the pages bring something new to us. Um, so this is something new that um, is making your heart sing, that's meaningful for your heart, making you feel very light-hearted, if you like. Um, all right. Um, and so this this hard work you've put into something, you're just waiting for things to materialise now. So these are the hidden influences um, on, underpinning the Three of Coins and the Knight of Wands energy. Now, the past influences, we have the Nine of Swords and the Hanged Man. So we can see where this is going a little bit, can't we? So... I mean, in the past, you've had fearful thoughts, a lot of doubts, um, illusions and delusions, uh, worrying about what you think is there, but it's not really there, it's all in your mind. So it's those sorts of fear-based thoughts that are not real, but obviously they are at the time to you. Um, and this is a past energy. Now, um, a clarifier is the hanged man or the hanged woman. Um, and this is because, you know, nothing was happening in the past. Things had come to a standstill. You had a limited perspective on things. Um, but the waters were starting to swirl, so things were starting to move. But they were starting to move on the back of um, being in this f fearful thought um, energy. All right, so these are the past influences. 
that um, that have led on to the Three of Coins and the Knight of Wands energy. Um, and that's, so that's why, explains why, when you're thinking, you know, you're thinking about conflict of some sort and the difficulty I mean, in your mind, having mental conflict about about the situation, probably because in the past you've had been quite anxious or fearful about things. And it is certainly to do with something that new that's being created now, that's building up um, movement and change, passion and energy. Okay. Um, now, the future going forward, we have the Four of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Now, the Four of Cups is when a, a, there's a golden opportunity, there's a cup here, a full cup being offered. Um, you can see the man, he's looking at it, he's thinking about it, but he's not at this point ready to accept it. He's not sure what to do. Um, this may be, have something to do with your inner conflict here. Sometimes, uh, 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 sorry, sometimes Taurus, when we have golden opportunities, things that we are wanting, when they start to come forward, um, we start to be quite worried about it because, you know, whether we are able to manage it or not. So we get these fear-based thoughts and anxieties that tend to hold us back and that can be the case particularly if it's something you know that we're really hoping for and really wanting um so there's certainly something being offered so as an opportunity here um going forward but you, you're not quite sure whether to go with it or not um now the clarifier is the ten of wands and this is because of uh, responsibilities and loads you know that burdens that you have to carry yourself um, however, in this particular picture, the burden has been shared. So, you know, the ladies she's coming down the hill rather than having to climb up it. So the, the going, the journey is much easier now because she's shared the responsibility and burden that she's been carrying. But this, it's this Ten of Wands energy um, that, I, that is clarifying why some of you are hesitant to go forward. Um, although the omens are very good and he looks very successful, um, you know, and the opportunities are going to start coming in. But you're going to be wondering, I feel, some of you are going to be wondering whether you can manage the extra responsibility, you know, to carry extra weight and load. Now, the universe wants to say to you, we've got the Eight of Cups and the Four of Swords. Um... And the Eight of Cups is when we have to leave, find a new way forward. So we've got all the, the Eight of Cups here, um, but there's a need to go find a new way forward to get to find the Ninth Cup, which is, and the Ninth Cup um, is about wish fulfillment, uh, having your wishes coming true. So, you know, what the universe is saying is, is, is just finding your way now perhaps moving away from what has been and finding a new way forward all right um but we have the five of the four of swords here so what the universe is saying is it's time perhaps to have a break um regroup your thoughts regroup your energies um we've got the heart here you see so you know um look after your heart in all of this um, and uh, I'm drawn again to the universe, the Empress energy. So I feel Taurus, this is you. With for some of you, this is this is you, sort of nurturing and caring energy. Um, and and perhaps you know, perhaps working hard and and have been carrying a lot of responsibility. Um, but you know, there's a need to share that, especially if new opportunities are coming in for you. Um, but I think um, what the universe is saying, you know, currently I feel that you're having a break, regrouping your thoughts and probably thinking about um, how to go forward now in a new direction. The steps to take, the steps to take to get to your wish fulfillment, how to do that. Okay. Um, we had the magician energy, didn't we? Um, which is about manifesting. Um, your new reality going forward is very taking control. Okay, and then let's have another look at here. We had, um, I think, coming away, try to come away from this obsess obsessive toxic energy if possible. 
um, that could be holding you back, um, preoccupied. Perhaps this is about the inner conflict that's been happening. Um, and you've got to let that go so you can go forward, the new beginning, with a new beginning for some of you, Taurus. So could we just have... We can have two more, two more messages, please, for Taurus um, to round this reading up. Two more messages for Taurus, please, just to round this this reading up. What the final final messages for Taurus? So we have um, right. We have in the flow, and we have stepping into power. So in the flow, um, this is saying everything is smooth sailing. So really, you just, you know, don't fight it. Don't try to fight the way you're going. So, you know, you're, you're in the boat, you're in the groove and you are going and you're well set up, very comfortable, warm, cosy. And it's almost, it's very magical. So what they're saying is you are in the flow, you know, try not to fight it. Um, release control if you like um, because the, the boat here is well lit up and it's going to take you in the way the direction that you need to go beautiful energy and then stepping into power you are strong beyond measure all right and you are a leader look if you're shining your lantern there's people following you so you know shine your lantern shine your light Taurus step into your power now probably this is the time to start this process you know you are strong beyond measure beautiful all right i'm going to leave it there taurus i hope you've enjoyed this reading for those of you that uh, it was meant to be for um but good luck going forward and i hope you can join me again in the future take care for now bye bye <laughs>